example says the distance Sean travels varies directly with the time he spends driving. If he goes 80 miles in four hours, how far will he travel in nine hours? So let's talk about the three steps that I recommend and it'll make it a lot easier for you. So step number one is I would say write your general direct variation equation. Okay, so what I mean by that is, if you read the first sentence, it'll usually tell you, it'll say the distance Sean travels varies directly with the time he spends driving. So let's see, the uh, distance that he travels, so the distance he travels varies directly with the time. So you have distance varies directly with the time. Now the A is your constant of variation. Remember, when we work with direct variation equations, we're working with equations in the form y equals a times x, or sometimes books use the letter k, y equals k times x. But the a or the k is the constant of variation. You can think of it as like the slope, okay? And it's what relates the two variables to one another. Now notice when you do direct variation equations, there's no b value. The, the y-intercept is zero, okay? So it's very similar to y equals mx plus b, okay? The slope-intercept form of the line, but the b value is zero. Okay, so the first step is to write our general equation. Now, step number two, I call this find your more specific equation, okay? Or you could think of solve for A. Okay, A is the constant of variation, or K, whichever one that your book uses. Okay, and the way we would do that is they give us some information. They say if he goes 80 miles in four hours, oh, okay, so there we go. So we started with distance equals A times T. If he goes 80 miles, in four hours, we can solve for A by dividing both sides by four, and you can see that A equals 20. Now you put the 20 back in, and now we have our more specific equation, which is D equals 20T. Okay, that's step number two. So here's step one, our general equation. Step two, we have a more specific equation. Now step number three, use that specific equation. So here's step three, I would say use the specific equation that you, you solved, okay, for the A value. And to solve another problem. And the, the last problem here says, how far will he travel in nine hours? Okay, so we've got our equation, D equals 20T. How far will he travel in nine hours? We're gonna put nine in place of T, so that's gonna be 20 times nine, which is 180 miles. Now make sure you put your units, you know, it's a story 